What is going on guys? It's DyslexiGuy96 here and today we're back at it with another brand new video over on American Truck Simulator. We're back in our hotshot setup. I know we were in a, a big truck last week helping our friend out, which you will see a bit uh, a couple more times, at least until we can get our own truck. And then we'll have to tell him, unfortunately we can't help unless we get a load up to Montana and we'll help him out with a couple of loads on his own trailers. You'll notice we're on the highway. I uh, was a was a dummy and uh, forgot to unmute my mic when I thought it was muted. So we are, uh, yeah, we're on our way from Rollins to uh, Jackson. That's our load. It'll be about a three hour trip. I was saying before I noticed that it was a, a muted mic <laughs> that uh, we'll do kind of a, a cut but not cut so you'll see a bit more driving get you guys to see some more of the roads and stuff like that but I don't want the videos to get too long I did notice with the snow runner video when I did a really long video it didn't it wasn't as received as well so I want to make sure that the content I'm putting out is quality content things that you guys want to watch so I am trying my hardest to give each and every one of you what you're looking for maybe a longer longer drives or driving scenes also with a little bit of cutting so that the videos aren't too long so just let me know what you guys think of which video style you want me to go to do you want me to do more just one load or one or maybe two loads a, a, a video or do you want the ability to do more than that and do a lot of cutting where you don't see quite as much of the actual driving but you see a lot of the you know the the dropping off the picking up of loads and stuff like that so just let me know down in the comments also guys uh how was your weekend mine was pretty pretty chillaxed i think i did the biggest thing i did was go to a flea market kind of thing uh, i it was, it was it was cool i always like doing some antiquing and seeing some old stuff i like old coins and stuff coin collecting i know pretty nerdy um so yeah guys let me know down in the comments how your weekend was any plans for the week other than work? I know it's for me, it's work. Work and work and work. Get used to that, I guess. Oh, and I'm going to get used to a speeding ticket if I don't slow down. So, yeah, guys. What I'll do is just say sit back, relax. You might see a cut here or there where I'm not going to talk over it. It's just there so that we keep the video down a little bit and also give you guys some quality content. Get to be able to watch me drive through some of this beautiful scenery in Wyoming. I mean, look at those mountains. Awesome to see. See so yeah, you guys. Sit back, relax. We'll see you on the drive.
I had to get that little screenshot there, guys, for your thumbnail. Might use it, might not. We'll see. Gotta love this road work. We'll see if we can make this light. Because these trucks definitely take their sweet time to get up and turn. Come on. What are we doing? Just turn. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. I don't know I don't know why they, they forced the trucks to do that, but I'd really like it if they stop. Keep up the hard work, boys. Get this road fixed if you don't mind. Don't like doing this every time I come through here. Come on, man. Get up. Let's go. I love watching the landscape start to change. We're starting to get more woodland, a little less desert. It's really cool. I mean, we're still getting a lot of the 
mountains and such, but it's getting to be more of these trees and luscious greens rather than, you know, some of that dry and deserty looking stuff that we saw before. I really like going through these transitions, especially in these mountain roads. Don't like it being stuck behind a, a truck. And I thought I had I had the ability to pass them, but I didn't know there was that uh, two lane road part there. If, if I had known, I would have been speeding up long before there and would have made it past him. Unfortunately, just wasn't in the cards and I'm not gonna play dangerously, especially because at those, the AI will just turn in on you. It's unfortunate. But you live and learn, so let's keep going. How long do we got to Jackson? About 50 minutes. I might not cut this Jackson drive. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> you'll see, you'll obviously see it because you're watching the video. But right now as I'm filming, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I like showing you guys the drive now that I've done it a couple of times. And it seems like you guys watch it just as much, maybe a little less, but I can't complain too much. The views on those were pretty good. I think I just have to keep it under a certain time frame. Maybe it's that, that's 30 minutes. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to kind of play around. I'm hoping we can get to Evanston. Evanston? Wyoming today. Finish out our Wyoming state. And then I think we'll do for next episode, we'll do a random wheel and kind of see which state we go to. Um, but I'd also like to know down in the comments what you guys were thinking. Do you want me to keep going state by state by state? Or do you want me to just kind of take loads as I see fit? Maybe jump from state to state to state? Let me know down in the comments. I know in real life it's not really practical to do what I'm doing. I know you wouldn't really be able to grab loads to all these little cities to see everything in Wyoming, all the major cities, which I understand. But part of this is a game. So if that's how we want to play it for the video, I am more than happy to do so. I, I think it's really cool to go and see all the different states and such and, you know, just kind of explore the areas. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys are thinking. If that sounds fun, cool, interesting, I'll gladly keep doing it the way we're doing. We'll just do random wheels. If not, I'll gladly start just taking random loads. We'll just kind of pick a load that I see fit for the video, maybe a longer one, maybe two short ones, and we'll kind of play that as we see fit. So, looks like we're pulling into Jackson. Goodbye, truck. Jeez. Tired of sitting behind you. Looks like we're entering Jackson. You guys won't miss the welcome to Jackson message or Jackson discovered. I can't remember now. Oh. Looks like a lot of truckers come here. This will be cool. It looks like there's an, a garage we could buy. Looking at our bank balance. Oh, somebody must have delivered a load because at the start of the episode, or uh, after the, the money came out, we had 15000 and now we're up to $18,000. i will have to... Well, actually, before we take another load in Jackson, or maybe after we get one, I will gladly pull open the message. There we go. Jackson discovered. I'll pull open the driver manager and we'll check out and see what people are doing, especially if uh, it's not Pierre. Pierre was driving. Is that Joshua? Ugh, I can't remember his name. It's great. Guy with only two employees can't remember one of their names. That's just wonderful. Shows the kind of boss I am. <laughs> so we'll see if he's, he's actually moved. If not, we'll fire and hire somebody at a higher rating maybe. See if we're able to do that would be nice just can't can't have people taking trucks like that not running with them unfortunately you got you got to start making profits for us it's the only way we're going to stay in business and keep afloat i think it is good that we have two trucks running with us it's it's awesome i'm really sad we couldn't do it with hot shotting vehicles you know the ram 3500s but for some reason they just were not liking the truck and trailer combos and not taking it so you, you know it is what it is maybe we'll just imagine they're in hot shots I wish I would have known because then we would have been a lot of a lot a lot better off financially because we wouldn't have had to lose money I think we lost like 60k just in the trucks alone which is a shame but can't can't go back and change it unfortunately we'll just have to uh, roll with the punches here we made a bad financial decision in our business Plenty of people make those. It is, unfortunately, what it is. Ah, these 
Traffic lights, come on. Make this light, I can't sit at another red. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. I'm going, it's a yellow. Take a hike if you want to tell me something else. I do love Wyoming. I've always wanted to go out here and hunt. I know to hunt on, what is it, federal land or something? You, you gotta be a resident or something? Or have a resident guide? Or I know it's similar to Alaska. I think. I can't quite remember. But I know I know there's a, a rule and regulations. Uh, I don't know if you guys are or not, but if you are hunters down in the comments, let me know if you're excited for or excited to start bow season if it's already started in your state. I know mine has, but unfortunately my surgery uh, prohibited me from pulling back a bow string, especially when I have it up at like I think 55, 60 pounds worth of draw strength. So definitely couldn't pull that back so I have a planned trip at the first weekend in November to go for uh, a little bow hunting action for some whitetail up here in Wisconsin I'm trying to get in before gun season I have I, I hunt on some land that's private however I only do that for bow season there's a lot of people around the, the land that hunt gun season so I just leave that to them where is our drop-off point Where is our drop-off point? It says it's over here somewhere. Oh, perfect, right there. So yeah, let me know if you guys are hunters or wish you could be. Oh no, let's not crash. For some reason I have been driving so, so bad. But yeah, I'm excited for the, the bow season to start and get into swing. This year will be the first year that I don't buy Oh, 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 oh. That I don't buy gun season passes just because I see no point. Am I gonna really? Oh my god. This is horrendous. I am so sorry. <laughs> this backing job is gonna take us forever just because I'm bad at it. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you, you you do if you if you want to hunt. If you don't like hunting, I completely support it. I understand it's not for everybody. But yeah, I'd love to go hunting. I my big plan is to hopefully do an elk hunt. I'd love to do a backcountry elk hunt and go go up. A, I was looking at it like Colorado or something, and just kind of hike and camp and. Seems all the fun. I just love weaving like I am. It's because the trailer just moves. And then when I finally go to correct myself, it's like it's moved back the way I just tried to correct from. But it looks like we'll have a pretty decent job now that we've stopped messing around. <laughs> all right, let's unload the trailer. Enter to unload. So, Rollins to Jackson. 247 miles, six hours time taken and 15 gallons of fuel. I bet in the semi it would have been closer to 70 or 80. <laughs> that was just nuts. Not quite to a new level, which is unfortunate. I'm really planning to buy a new truck when we get to level 13 at least so that we can have a sleeper on it. We'll role play that our, our, our drivers are currently just doing local jobs within Montana since you, you're not legally allowed to sleep in a day cab. But for us, I'd like to get a sleeper edition on it, which is why we're waiting. One reason why we're waiting. The other is we have no money. I mean, now we do. We just got quite a bit. Let's see. Do they have anything? I don't want to go to Raw. Okay, so they don't have anything to where we'd like to go. We're trying to go down here to Evanston. So let's quickly pull open the cargo market here. Anything from Jackson to Evanston. Anything at all. There's literally only one place in Jackson that you can pick up loads. <laughs> oh no. I don't want to go back to. Oh, is there like a Logan or. Oh man. I am so sorry, guys. I wasn't expecting this. Well, it is 5.07, so maybe we'll go and try to find a spot to sleep and maybe then there will be a job. 
Ugh, that's so sad. What? The gas station doesn't have somewhere to stay? Whatever. We'll just park here. I will obviously cut this out after we look at the driver's menu. Joshua T. Oh my god. He's beating out pro um, dollars per day to Pierre at a lower level. Looks like he took a uh, transformer from Miles City to Butte. 400 miles. And we earned about $3,600 in profit. What has Pierre been up to? I know he took the first load. Ah, that's why he took a really... Uh, another load back to Miles City for only $608. So we'll see how that keeps going. Joshua T, good job on that. Oh. Man, wasn't expecting that. I mean, look at us. We're up at $24,000 a day. So yeah, guys, here I'll cut. And if I'm able to get another load, I will. Maybe we'll break the system. I don't know. I just I would like to go to Evanston. Maybe we just deadhead there. I don't like that. Or maybe I'll cut and maybe see if there's something in uh, Riverston. What, what was that? Oh, I don't remember. That one, that one town over. Maybe we'll have a load there. So we'll see. So I will uh, sleep for the night and we will uh, pull back up when I have a load, if I have a load. And we are back, guys. It's raining out. We got some construction materials that we've got to Evanston. We actually had to go all the way back to Rollins to get a load to go to Evanston. So I didn't let make you guys watch that. I didn't take a load. I technically deadheaded. So we lost a little bit of money there. However, I thought it would just be nice to be able to just get the last load here and finish out Wyoming. So I might cut a little bit of this drive here, partly because... God. Partly because we've already seen a lot of this drive. It's Rawlings, and then I think it's like Rock City or something like that over. So unfortunately, it's not. Oh, and I'm sliding all over the place. Holy crap. My God. Sometimes, I don't know if it's this truck, but it slides a lot more than any of the semis in the base game, which is a shame. Oh. Help if I turn my lights on. See, I, I do notice that it slides quite a bit. It's like all of a sudden I'm just sliding on a turn, even if I'm at the speed limit. So I'll have to watch that. But let's sit back and I'll kind of cut a bit in the middle here, especially because I am I know I think I'm up already at, at 25 minutes of record time. A little bit of cutting won't hurt. Keep us there. And then we'll finish out Evanston and finish out Wyoming. And then, like I said, let me know down in the comments, do you want me to keep going state by state? Do you want me to go and, oh my God, I'm gonna crash. Or did you want me to go and just do random loads across the country, across the states, not stick to a single state? Let's see, I think, let's see if we can beat him out. Oh, the car shooting by is not something we can beat. So yeah, just let me know down in the comments what you guys are thinking. I think it would be awesome to keep going state by state, but I also wouldn't mind changing it up and going state to another state or maybe just picking up loads that really maximize profit. I'm not too worried about money in the game. It seems like now that we've got two employees and such and we are doing, I mean, a crap ton of jobs, we're not going to have any issues with money. So I'm not too worried about that. It's not like we're gonna be strapped for cash. So just let me know down in the comments. But with that, let's sit back, relax. I'll probably cut within a couple of seconds from here. You'll see a bit of the drive. And it doesn't hurt that, I mean, it doesn't help that it's raining and foggy. So I don't want you guys to get a, a bad view of things. Let's see, is he, not, is he gonna move over? No. So yeah, sit back, relax. We'll see you over in Evanston.
and we are back. We hit a little bit of a traffic jam. I can't get around this bus, and he's definitely been doing slower than the speed limit. I mean, I'm doing 60. It was an 80, and it was just hard. It's just hard. It's hard when you get stuck behind traffic like that. I hate it in real life, and in the game it's even worse, because I know I could be cheating and going around him, but I'm playing realistically. Also, I don't want to crash because it's raining. Like I said before we cut, basically, this truck, I don't know if it's the model or the handling or if it hasn't been updated to the new handling specs as well. It just slips and slides in the rain. It's just no fun. It's it's nuts. But we live and learn. Just got to drive a little slower. It's not like in the real world where you'd slide around and have no forgiving, so I don't mind that. Looks like we're just doing a little turn and then a turn. And there's the slide in action right there in the action. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's the tires we put on here, or the wheels. I don't think it is. It's just odd is all. So, this will have completed our trip into Evanston. So, we'll have officially seen every city in Wyoming. I think once we hit up every state and get to every city, it will be we'll go back and go and find those missing roads we we didn't get to and such well, like that so that we don't miss anything along the way i just think right now it's kind of not so to try to get ourselves Ooh, let's not take our cargo off oh can we make this turn yes we can okay i want the okay I know what to do. Crank that. And then follow. <laughs> yeah, let me know how you guys like that plan. I think... I think for right now it's the best plan we've got. I mean, I don't mind hitting up the, the different states. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Crank it, crank it. And then go. There's probably an easier way than doing all this. But I don't mind the added difficulty of me being an idiot. Added into this. You live and learn. We'll get this. It might not be the straightest back, but it will be back there. <laughs> oh. Get set up for the week here. A little sad. I was on. Uh, I was working from home for two weeks. I, I work like a hybrid type thing, and I was working from home for two weeks, and now I'm due to the surgery, obviously, and now I've got to go back into the office. I'm not too excited. It's a shame. Let's get unloaded here. So, Rawlings to Evanston, 165 miles, takes about 3 hours and 15-ish minutes. 9 gallons of fuel, seems low. I might have to turn a different consumption on. Uh, I'll leave this off for right now. We're not going to pick up a load. Let's come in here. I've got some options to go through here. Gameplay. I was told in the comments, I got a, so I got fatigue and traffic fence off just because I'm not getting fined for an AI driver turning into me. Just not doing it. Um, okay, let's see. Okay. So I do the random parking. Random road events I turn down. I'm actually going to turn those down. Okay. I'm going to turn off the show blockers like you guys said. We use the real automatic right now. Um, anything you guys see in here, let me know if you want me to turn it off. Air brake simulation, I might turn on when we get a truck. Okay, realistic fuel consumption is on, so it's not like I'm not there. Uh, na, 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 na. Got adaptive cruise control turned off and the emergency braking system turned off. Seen a lot of people come uh, complain on Reddit that it doesn't really work too well. Uh, cabin accessory physics should be good. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you see anything you'd like me to change. I don't mind, obviously. Just let me know. 
like I, I've seen your comments about changing like the show blockers, that one, and some other ones. I'm happy to do so. One last time, let's check on the driver manager. See if Pierre's grabbed any new loads. Looks like he did. He's keeping quite the, the loads here. Looks like he's doing transformers a lot. But I'll you keep doing that every day, please, because that is awesome. You are killing it. I mean, look at that. He's made 6K in profit already. Pierre, step that up. Why are we why are we doing short little loads? Pierre, even though he's got a higher rating, might be getting taken out. If he's not keeping it up with profit, I'll obviously give them some time, uh, some time to do stuff. So we'll see. As for bank, uh, can I get that? No. Oh, we've got about forty thousand, so we're starting to roll in that dough. My big thing is going to be paying this bad boy off to get one of our payments back down, along with then paying this one off as well. I think, I think that's just the smartest move. Get it paid off, and then I think what we'll do is look to buy. Let's pull open the truck purchaser, truck dealers. I'm thinking we'll do Peterbilt, of course. I'm hoping to get one of these sleepers, the 389 lo low roof sleeper, or not quite sure what the difference is between these two. The price? <laughs> Maybe a longer sleeper? Not quite sure. They look to be the same truck, but try to get one of these so that we have the sleeper. It's not like we can afford one of the 389s, right? Like the big sleepers anyway. So a nice flat top roof and such. Get out of the day cab realm and we'll start making some more money. But with that, guys, thank you as always for watching the videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. I'd love to hit that by the end of the year. But let's keep it up. Keep the views up. I've been appreciative of all you guys. Also, check the links down below for G2A Games. Awesome place to get some cheaper games. I know some of you have already clicked the link and used it. Appreciate it. But with that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.